Hi, this is Graham Helfrich, Technical Advisor Manager for the Engineering Software here at IHS Market. Welcome to the weekly Did You Know episode where we learn how to do something of value that you probably didn't know about your IHS Market engineering software. Today's topic is, is my well in boundary dominated flow? This is primarily aimed at conventional wells, and let's just get into it. So in this case, I've got a vertical gas well with a hydraulic fracture, and I can always start by doing my flowing material balance. Okay, now in this case, my data seems fairly straight, which uh, you might expect to see in, in a higher perm situation in boundary dominated flow, but I'm not quite sure if I really am in boundary dominated flow. And also I, I wanna know when did that happen, that transition. Uh, I'm coming up with about 200 acres as my original gas in place. Next, what we're gonna do is launch a type curve and specifically the Agarwal Gardener type curve. So all these lines on the left are here to tell us about our transient reservoir properties, permeability, skin, fracture half length, and then this is our unit slope, which confirms our volume of oil or gas in the reservoir. So our job is to try to move this data to where we think it fits best. And in this case, we come up with about 200 acres and a perm and a fracture half length. But I haven't answered that question. Am I in boundary dominated flow? And when did that happen? So. To enable this in the Agarwal Gardener type curve, we go to Options and say Enable Transient Boundary Diagnostic. What you'll notice is we get this blue coloring on our data points, and as you move your inter interpretation left and right, we see how that color will change on our data. So what this means is when we transition to blue, that's suggesting we are in boundary dominated flow from there moving forward. So we can confirm, yes, we're in boundary dominated flow. In fact, we could even put one of our linked annotation arrows where that happened. And we can mark this boundary dominated flow. Okay, and now we can even go look on any other plot like the FMB and see when in time did that happen uh, and even with our filter we can see when that happened. It happened only after about a month. So again this is something really powerful using the Agarwal Gardner type curve with this boundary dominated flow diagnostic. Now let's look at another case just to illustrate a different story. Okay so here I have, I've got a different well. Now the thing I notice is I have a half slope which means very linear flow. I'm going to turn on this boundary dominated flow diagnostic. And, you know, I don't really see my data curving downward at all. Like this would not be a, a good match, right? I, pretty much I still have a straight line, which is in linear flow. And so uh, I would say this, this well is still in transient flow, not boundary dominated flow. If we look at our flowing material balance, we see that classic curve of our data suggesting transient flow still. So this is another example. So what does this really mean for you? Well, it means you can add certainty. Am I in boundary dominated flow? And when did that happen? And what that means is when you have that certainty, you're going to have a more reliable reservoir model and a more reliable forecast. The second thing it means is if you're starting to use this for your conventional wells, you can add consistency among your engineers and how they approach the wells and how they determine if and when they are in boundary dominated flow. And that's it. Thanks for your time. If you have any questions, email or call me and subscribe to be notified of next week's Did You Know episode.